So the market sold off quite aggressively today. Is this the beginning of something worse? In today's video, we're going to discuss what to expect to get you guys ready as always. I'm also going to be sharing with y'all some stocks to keep on your watch list for tomorrow. And I'm gonna do an update on the stocks that I've mentioned in the past videos. All right, y'all, let's dive into the charts right off the bat. We got QQQ once again. We're, good. We're continuing to use QQQ because it's an easier chart, all right? Now, um, it looks like it looks like the market has made its decision after a very dreadful consolidation for the past two to three weeks. We finally broke out of that zone this is the chop fest zone we broke out of there and went below 442 bucks all right now looking at the daily charts looking at the daily chart again this is kind of looking like an island gap reversal right where we have the gap followed by the island this cluster of candles followed by a reversal gap right here typically typically when this happens, right, there's a major sell off that follows. Typically, um, I've traded a lot of island gap reversals, especially the ones that form after huge bubbles, right? Where the island is made up of maybe two, three, maybe four, maximum five candles, all right? I'm talking about this island. This is what I'm talking about. And then the reversal is really, really massive to the downside. Um, right now the futures are negative and i think we're going to continue lower um i told y'all yesterday that i was expecting the vix to hit 15 bucks i think that happened today if i'm not mistaken yeah so the vix huge move all right so this kind of got shifted a little bit more to the right we hit 15. i think we're gonna break above and go even for 16 dollars for the vix really really soon okay now the Dow Jones is also bearish. It got back inside of the it got back inside of the bullish rectangle, which is not something that it's supposed to do. Again, it breaks out here, and then instead of going all the way through to four hundred and like one or four hundred and two, it reverses and gets back in here. Anybody who is long, this is called a bull trap. That zone. Anybody above the white line or this is they're bulls and they're trapped. And they don't like it. And if you open up lower, they're going to panic some more. And the more of these individual panic, the bigger the sell off that we will see tomorrow. Right? That's kind of how uh, trading psychology works. Okay. Now, the first stock that I want to share with all of you for tomorrow. Last stock is, let me go on the one minute and then I'm going to clean it up. All right. Um, that stock is Tesla. And let me clean up the chart. Okay, now with Tesla, for those of you who have been subscribed to the channel, I told you guys that this gap right here will get filled at some points in time. All right, this gap right here at $145. Right now, it's currently at 166 they're, the stock reported, or the company, I would say, reported their delivery numbers. And it turned out that they reported 384,000 versus 440-something thousand. They didn't really meet expectations. And the reaction to that was very negative. All right. But the reaction kind of validates the structure that I had drawn for you guys for the past few days. Somebody asked a question about tesla on like i think it was maybe last week on thursday and then i released a video about this on sunday nights right tesla was up here and i showed you i showed you guys the uh bear flag that was on the chart bear flag was cooking and cooking and then the reaction was the breakdown and with this one right here Typically, what's the, what happens with bear flags is that there's a huge drop all the way down in the zone. All right, so watch Tesla for your continuation down after um, 
negative delivery numbers. Well, not negative, but you know, um, not as expected delivery numbers. Watch it for a gap fill down. Okay. So that's the first stock to watch. Now, the next one that I want to share with all of you, this is a new one that I haven't talked about um, during the past weeks. It's forming really, really nice. It's dick sporting good. I'm going to clean up the charts. Obviously, we, we're going we're gonna to look at it as a fresh start. This is dick sporting good. The stock had a huge run, massive run right here. All right. And the big run actually resulted from its ascending triangle on the weekly. If you go on the weekly, you can see it. See? Ascending triangle right here, resistance at 145, and then it finally pops out in 2024. We're gonna zoom in to the daily. All right, we have the first gap right here from this looks more like an exhaustion gap, like the final gap before the drop. That right there. All right. So we finally like it, it breaks out. And then consolidate sideways as the volume diminishes at the bottom. Y'all can see that. And today was a really red day for the stock. But the way it turned red and what it did intraday is what I want to focus on in today's video. If we look on the five minute and we zoom in right here, there is a descending triangle on the charts right there. All right. And typically with descending triangles, especially the ones that breaks down like this, the breakdown volume wasn't that great, but the fact that it's increasing the volume as it's closing, again, the breakdown is right here. And also because the stock is so, so, so high with so much room at the bottom. Therefore, this one is good enough to share in today's video. Obviously, I have my alerts on there so y'all can yeah, I can see where I'm getting at. All right, watch, watch um, the exporting goods for a drop all the way down to 212 tomorrow by like the middle of the day. Okay, a very simple structure. It should play out the way that I put out right here. Now let's do an updates. Congratulations to anybody who made money on Walmart. All right, I told y'all this one was gonna pay big. And it definitely did. I shared it, I shared it with you guys on, on Sunday night. So if you subscribe and you took advantage of the initial entry of the initial opportunity right here, right? Where it closed at exactly at 60. And then the next day it opened up slightly lower, barely went above 60 and immediately got rejected for an all day fader. The put options were up by 100%. So all of you should have doubled your money. All of you. All right. So congratulations to anybody who has done so. Um, I took a swing trade on. I took a swing trade on coin yesterday. All right. So coin was looking like that. The daily chart was looking really, really lumpy. And the crypto market was also looking kind of sus. So I decided to buy puts on coin for the drop to... Again, if you look at coin, it has a head and shoulders on there. And the price was like right at the neckline. So the plan is right there. The price target that I have on coin is 212. And I ended up doubling my money out the gates at the open. This thing gapped down by like 7%. And two minutes after I sold half. And then once I saw it playing games and curling back around... And that 240, 41 alert rings, I immediately got out. All right. So overall, it was a great day for the markets. Um, and I don't think it's done quite yet. I think we can continue to go much, much lower. All right. Now, the next stock that we're going to look at. Um, yesterday, I mentioned Etsy. And Etsy also paid. So congrats to anybody who banked on Etsy. I mean, that one, most of the move happened during the night. So it didn't really give anybody an opportunity on it because I shared it yesterday. Um, but it could continue lower tomorrow and completely fill the gap. All right. But yeah, that's, that's my thoughts. That's my thoughts on it. All right. Now, the next one, the next one that I shared uh, yesterday was Ulta Beauty. 
and also beauty is setting up the way that i was envisioning in my mind yesterday which is the reason why i give it to y'all in advance i gave this one to y'all in advance told y'all to set an alert right here around the 520s because there is a lot more money to be made on the downside that alert ringed in the morning it did all right it ring right here and then it started to consolidate downwards again this one so far so far so good so far so good all right um i think panic will kick in when when that alert at 505 rings and that gap at the bottom below 460 is gonna get taken care of but so far so far so good that's my honest thoughts on all of these stocks and that is the end of the video do not forget to annihilate the like button as always again i make these videos from sunday to thursday at exactly 10 p.m eastern time all right eastern time um so definitely click on that subscribe button and click on that notification bell that way youtube notifies you whenever i release these videos right if you'd like to be part of a private digital community we can get all of this information in real time as i see them you can find that as the first link in the description of the video below also if you haven't followed me on social media you can find me at paul and guma and if you're an knowledge lab on instagram and on x and lastly to get some free stocks with Weeble, you can use the third link in the description of the video below once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is Petanology Lab, where we trade patterns and patterns only. And I will see all of you in tomorrow night's video.